Hello everybody and welcome to Psych Online Gaming. We are playing some more 2 2 and this time around we are Chaos, the Warriors of Chaos. And our opponent for this game was Dark Elf, so the composition was as follows. We've got one, two, three squads of Chaos Warriors. We've got uh, two squads of Aspiring Champions. We have taken our Chaos Lord, the generic one. Uh, with all of his stuff, and some of this has changed. Okay, so he's got a uh, Foe Seeker, he's got the Filth, filth Mace, he's got the Pendant of Slanesh, Deadly Onslaught, and Stand or Die. We also then have three squads of the Forsaken, and one squad here at the back of Chosen with Halberds. And then off to the right hand flank, we've got one, two, three squads of Chaos Warhounds, because Dark Elves like ranged. So, my opponent for this battle, he decided to bring two of the War Hydras, one, two, three Dark Shards, four squads of the Witch Elves, and then two, and this might have been a bit of a mistake, Reaper Bolt Throwers, and then of course Malekith. Oh no, wait, that's not even Malekith, that's a Dreadlord on a Black Dragon, and this is why the Reaper Bolt Thrower is a mistake, guys. Check the map before you decide your army, because this just makes things so hard. Have you ever seen a dragon from below? Now you have. Fantastic. Alright guys, let's get this game on the way and let's go. Oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I also have two of the Gore Beast Chariots. And they do pretty damn well. They are chariots and yeah, I mean, they just run rampant over infantry. So here we go, guys. Um, just as we get to this hill crest, we finally see each other's arm. A little bit of a... Oh no, wait. Yeah, that was a glitchy. Uh, I had a little bit of a panic attack here with the Gorby Chariots when I spotted the Hydras, but I decided, you know what, I'm just going to ignore them for now. Um, I've got more than enough stuff here to deal effectively with everything that he has, so we are just going to simply have to stick with it. Alright, so the Dark Shards are opening fire. That's okay, that's not the end of the world for me right here. Um, they are shooting at the Chariots, and now the Witch Elves are charging forward with the help of the Deadly, deadly, deadly Hydras. Alright, if I was Hercules, I would feel better about life. So, we've got the Dark Elves charging in. We've got more Dark Elves charging in. A massive hit here from the uh, Breath Weapon from the Hydras. But lo and behold, guys, we've got three squads of the uh, Chaos War Rounds that just come swung around the back. And that spells doom for these Dark Shards. And, of course, for the uh, Reaper Bolt Throwers. And now the Chariots literally crashed through this little space here, ignoring the Hydra completely and just crashing into this infantry line over here. Look at that. Blah, 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 blah. All right, that's fantastic. The Dreadlord has now landed in a desperate attempt to chase these dogs away. Well, obviously he will, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about just stopping this range from happening. You can see these these hounds have just done so much damage. Uh, this Reaper Bolt Thrower half health, this Reaper Bolt Thrower half health, this... Um, this Dark Shard's half health, they are half health, yeah, it's just not good. And at this moment in time, we're basically just trying to chase these guys away, and the Dreadlord not being there, their leadership ended up failing. And instead of engaging with the War Hydras guys, we literally just run right past them. There's just no point in engaging in a battle that we cannot win. So we're just chasing through, it's just like chaos running down the hill. Alright, here we go guys, so this is just chaos running down the hill, it's just War Hounds everywhere, chariots everywhere. You can see a War Hydra still fighting there at the back. These these Warhounds are chasing off after uh, these Dark Shards who think they just hit Murderous Intent, but they do they have intent enough? Are they strong enough to take on these hounds? We will have to find. Look, that's so cinematic right there. These Hydras just fighting. We've got some Dark Shards that's rallied there at the back. They are now taking on, but you can see here, this is just Forsaken and everything we have is just charging into this poor little Dreadlord, man. It's just chaos running down this hill. Just more and more and more reinforcements coming down, guys. We still have a lot more left here at the back as well. They are just breaking through these, these lines. Everybody, we've got two aspiring champions. We have the Chosen with Alberts. This is brutal. These guys are so unbelievably strong against large targets, and they're in this fight as well, along with the Chaos Lord. These chariots are now chasing after these guys over here. I think we have one squad of Warhounds that's just been enraged. They need to fight that fight out, and they will have to stick in there. Uh, we've got a Witch Elf squad there at the back, trying to make their way around. These Dark Shards, unfortunately for them, they are right in the path of these Gorby's chariot that's just running after them. But the Dreadlord is stuck in combat. He's got nowhere to go, and that's very unfortunate for him because this is pretty much going to end it if he breaks everything breaks and you can see here guys everything is just starting to break these gore beast chariots are chasing off the oh look at that Blah! wow they're just hitting everything these are still engaged over there and yeah that's about it guys so a massive massive uh run rampant that just happened here in this game um 
and it's uh, the reason why I thought this was a good game to cast is because guys when I play Dark Elves I do exactly the same thing if you face chaos or any army that doesn't have ranged it's very dangerous to to focus that heavily on ranged um, because they will have stuff that's gonna stop you and you can see here this was just brutal these these little cheap units, 56 elves killed, 58 elves killed, 32 elves killed. I mean, they clock more kills than the Forsaken did and the Chosen Warriors did and the Aspiring Champions. The lowest kills on this Chaos Warround squad is still higher than any of the Aspiring Champions, only matched by the Chaos Warriors. Uh, yeah, these things, I, I, this has happened to me a lot of times, guys, and... Um, I actually think if he took the two uh, War Hydras, he took four Witch Elves, and then maybe he took like, instead of all of this madness, he could have taken maybe one Reaper Ball Thrower and risked it. Maybe I don't have all that kind of stuff. And then just filled this out with more like, uh, what are they, the, the Corsairs, uh, or those kinds of guys, then he might have had a chance. But yeah, I do this a lot, so this is more like a learning experience video, I think, than anything else. Guys, if you're going to face Chaos, Chaos is strong right now. If you're gonna face chaos, they have more than enough stuff to deal with your with your ranged army, and, and yeah, try not to to invest too heavily in range, um, especially not in artillery, because artillery is just it's expensive and it's just never gonna make up its points. But that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you like the content on my channel and if you like the way I cast battles, hit that subscribe button, guys, because there's gonna be more battles coming. And uh, yeah, if you wanna see more, just subscribe and you will get those notifications whenever something new comes in. Guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys on the next recording. But until then, bye-bye.